Uh, Susanna Lipovac, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I have a few questions. Um, you conducted a survey of your Afghan patients and staff on a wide range of topics, including their attitudes uh, towards the country's future. What were the most surprising results of your survey? First, I was surprised uh, how much of my um, of them have really faced uh, security problems. There were about 27% uh, who faced in their own environment kidnappings, uh, snipers, crossfire, and um, so they have a real risky life. But nevertheless, on the question, how do you see your future? What do you think will happen? Is the Afghanistan moving into the right uh, direction? They were positive. They were really optimistic and positive about that. And this is something I really, uh, uh, which uh, gives us a much, a much power and um, motivation for our work, um, that the, they are living in so bad conditions, but uh, they are looking optimistic in their future. And you spoke um, a bit about an education program to train women to be nurses. Um, what are, can you describe this program a little bit and what are the effects? So the nurse training, the schools for nurses and for midwives are state schools, so we don't provide uh, the training. But the problem for a young Afghan girl, if she wants to become a nurse or a midwife, is that she is living in a village and the schools are in the provincial capital and that she cannot move um, as uh, you can move here to, the Bo to Bologna. Uh, that, uh, so we designed a hostel for them. And uh, we have 45 women uh, in two provincial capitals. They live with us. They receive uh, additional courses like English and computer courses. And we bring them every morning to the um, state school for three years. Up to the day when they finish their final exam. Then they are midwives. And our aim would be mm, to give them a start up for their ordinacy in the village. Wonderful. And, um, as a final question, what do you see the Af what will the local Afghan populations lose when West withdraws, and what will they gain? What will be the results of the military withdrawal? You know, I you first you asked if the West withdraws, and then if the oh. military withdraws. Because you see, um, I really hope that uh, the West is not only military. I really hope that we will make a big distinction between military and civilians, and that a lot of civilians will stay even, or even increase uh, their uh, presence in Afghanistan in the future. But I'm afraid that the interest and the attention of uh, the media and the politicians is uh, on the places where military is. And if the military withdraws, that nobody will take care anymore about the civilians and my projects for malnourished babies and so on and so on. Because it's, uh, in other countries, it was also like that. In Afghanistan in the past, that when the military is gone, the interest is gone. So if the West withdraws, only the military withdraws, it will be difficult. But we will lose whatever we achieved in the past if the civilians withdraw in, and uh, the Western civilians. We should stay. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us today.